Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 1 whole to the power 6 minus x cubed times x plus 2 whole cubed is equal to 7. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This x plus 1 whole to the power 6 can be written as x plus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 3 minus this x cubed times x plus 2 whole cubed can be written as x times x plus 2 and whole to the power 3 is equal to 7. Now by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This x plus 1 whole squared will become x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 whole. This cube will come here minus distribute this x this will become x squared plus 2 times x whole this cube will come here is equal to 7. Now we suppose that this uh, x squared plus uh, 2x is equal to t. Let x squared plus uh, 2 times x is equal to t. So this equation will become t plus uh, 1 whole cubed minus t cubed is equal to 7. Now by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus 3 times a squared b plus 3 a b squared plus b cubed. This t plus 1 whole cube will become t cubed plus 3 times t squared times 1 plus 3 times t times 1 squared plus 1 cubed minus this t cubed t cubed is equal to 7. Now this negative t cubed will be considered out with this positive t cubed and further simplify this will become 3 times t squared plus 3 times t plus 1 is equal to 7. Move this 7 to the left hand side this will become 3 t squared plus 3 times t plus 1 minus 7 is equal to 0. Next 3 times t squared plus 3 times t 1 minus 7 will become negative 6 is equal to 0. Now this whole equation is divisible by 3. So we divide the whole equation by 3. Then this will become t squared plus t minus 2 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation and fortunately this is factorable. So we solve it by factorization. We write this t squared t squared and we break this t into two terms plus 2 times t minus t. And this negative 2 negative 2 is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out t in bracket left t plus 2 and from these two terms we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left t plus 2 is equal to 0 and from here as you can see this expression t plus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this t plus 2 and in bracket left t minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression 
t minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 1 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 2. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x squared plus uh, 2x is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, x squared plus uh, 2 times x is equal to t. So, when t is 1 then this equation will become x squared plus uh, 2 times x is equal to 1 move this 1 to the left hand side then this will become x squared plus uh, 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and can be solved by completing square. We write this x squared x squared plus uh, this uh, 2 times x we add 1 and we subtract 1. This negative 1 remains same is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 will become x plus 1 whole squared. This negative 1 and negative 1 will become negative 2 is equal to 0. Move this negative 2 to the right hand side then this will become x plus 1 whole squared is equal to positive 2 and from here we take uh, square root of both sides. So, this uh, square will be considered with the square root we are left with uh, x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus root 2. Move this 1 to the right hand side then this will become x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus root 2. Now, we solve the second case uh, when t is equal to negative 2. So, this equation will become x squared plus uh, 2 times x is equal to negative 2 move this negative 2 to the left hand side this will become x squared plus 2 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and can easily be solved by completing the square. So, we write this x squared x squared plus 2 times x we can write these two as plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This uh, x squared plus uh, 2 x plus 1 will become x plus uh, 1 whole squared plus this 1 is equal to 0. Move this 1 to the right hand side then this will become x plus 1 whole squared is equal to negative 1 and from here we take uh, square root of both sides. So, this uh, square will be considered with the square root and uh, at left hand side we are left with uh, x plus uh, 1 is equal to plus or minus this uh, root negative 1 is same as this root negative 1 is same as i and move this uh, 1 to the right hand side then this will become x is equal to negative 1 plus minus i. So, from this equation we get uh, two values of x x 1 is equal to 
नेगेटिव वन प्लस रूट टू एंड एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव वन माइनस रूट टू एंड फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट अदर टू वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एक्स थ्री इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव वन प्लस आई एंड फोर्थ वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव वन माइनस आई सो वी हैव फोर सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस इक्वेशन नेगेटिव वन प्लस रूट टू नेगेटिव वन माइनस रूट टू एंड नेगेटिव वन प्लस आई एंड नेगेटिव वन माइनस आई 